Hey, welcome to Vacuum Saved, the vlog, and today we are going to be talking about a few things. Of course, central vacuums, after all, this is central vacuum propaganda at the end of the day, and I have been thoroughly evaluating the chameleon valve system. There will be a review of that coming soon. Thought I'd share a little bit of raw footage. Next, yet again, I'm fixing up a rainbow for a friend of a friend's, and here's what it looked like. Uh, take it off. I smell the PB blaster. Oh! Oh, my. My Lantern! Yeah. I think it's all right. This is all. Now, Hetty, it's a 2017. Look at how little wear there is. The carbon brushes aren't even seated on this That's motor a yet. Different state of affairs. That's like brand there. new. <laughs> we have this. Well, let's look at the power head. Oh, you can see the crap stuck in the power head too. This is cheesy, Mama. Oh, why did I touch that without gloves? <laughs> I don't know. Now the bottom of that fucker had to sit in PB blaster. And we ended up having to smoke it out with the heat gun before we got it off. The power nozzle wasn't any better. As you can see, it was really trashed. We ended up putting all this in the dishwasher. Unfortunately, I don't have footage of that. But this is not unusual to see a rainbow in this condition. People really don't know how to maintain them. The motor had to be cleaned up with some compressed air. Just absolutely nasty. Now, if you remember that Hetty 200 that was on the bench, that also made a trip through the dishwasher. So I'm just going to assemble it here. I don't think it was used hardly at all. The thing just goes back together really fast. So I'll show you the footage here. I'm also gonna take the liberty of spinning up the footage here because there's really not much to see or say. I'll grab Hetty's can. I'll grab can. I just want to make sure that I'm... Looks 
smell. Did you smell? Pretty cool, people. Well, Mom will probably put some of that orange shit in there anyway. I don't care. Still methane? Is it aroma? Yeah. As you can see, Heady 200 is just fine. Really, these are just such easy repairs, and that's why I like these vacuums. Though, I guess we could call Hetty 200 the Fat Hetty, since Hetty has a skinnier cousin, the 160. Just saying. Anyways, thanks for watching, folks. Have yourself a wonderful day.